Let's take you to the Free State now. The EFF Central Command team in the Free State says the new leadership that will emerge this weekend is expected to take the party to greater heights. The party is holding its third provincial People's Assembly in Bloemfontein. It's hoped that it will pave the way for the renewal of the party. The leadership says the party has grown massively after the local government elections, increasing councillors from 70 to 90. The voting for the top five is expected to take place later today. For more on this story now, we take you to our reporter, Mahala Masiteng, who is our, uh, with our camera person, of course, uh, Semi Masame. Thank you so much for your time, Mahala. What are some of the outcomes that the EFF is expecting this weekend? Good morning. Um, what is expected today is that we are expecting the Secretary General of the party to open this second day of the People's Assembly. But as you have indicated, um, the leadership, the current leadership of the EFF has been talking about what they have been able to achieve in the past four years, including that they've been able to increase uh, the number of their councillors after the, the last year's uh, local elections, but also talking about their achievement in terms of what they've been doing on the ground uh, up to so far. But we are expecting as well that later today we will be seeing the nomination and the election of the new leadership that uh, the Central Command team was saying that it will be able to take um, uh, this province to the greater heights because they indicated that this is one of the province that is very problematic, especially when it comes to the performance of municipalities as well as the issues of corruption. But with me here, I have the current um, secretary in the province, Busankum Simanga, just to take us through some of the achievement uh, of the party in the last four years uh, at the moment. Thank you very much for joining us. Since your tenure in 2018, what is it that the party has been able to achieve up to so far? Uh, as a party, we came here, we had two seats at the provincial legislature out of 30, we increased, we doubled that number. We have fought, of, of course, even the percentage-wise, we have managed to, to, to double. Our membership was at 25,000. Now we have 44,000 members of EFF. Uh, our presence now is felt throughout the province. We, may, we managed to, uh, to ensure that we occupied the unoccupied uh, residential sites. Moitrai, in Nala, we have Azania. Um, and there are a number of them, including in Smithfield, we managed to occupy the unoccupied land. So there are a number of achievements. For instance, we had 70 councillors in 2016. Now we managed to increase to uh, 90 councillors. We managed to win some of the awards for the first time in these local government elections, which of course is very impressive. Um, our membership has not grown only quantitatively, even qualitatively. They have grown. Uh, they now have a better understanding of municipalities, those whom we send to municipalities, but also they have better understanding of policies of the EFF. So we have been a force that has been fighting corruption in free state. Whenever corruption is raising its ugly head, we will be the front line to ensure that we confront it. We have opened a number of cases just that those who are supposed to prosecute, those who are supposed to act and ensure that justice is seen to be done are not acting uh, with a pace that we're expecting. There are a number of achievements basically whom we managed to, uh, to score. For instance, first letter where the leadership of ANC is dominating where uh, the late Matsipe Kasabur is coming from as a premier, where Isma Khashul is coming uh, from as a premier, where Teral Kota was coming from, uh, we measure as a premier. Now the current premier, Mantombelo, is coming from. We managed to bring ANC below 50% in Fezile Dabi District Municipality. They are not governing there. In Metsima Hulu, they are not governing there. In, in, in Mukata, it's a coalition government. Even in Nala, it's a coalition government. We are official opposition in Nala, Metsima, Olu, Mohukari, and Mafud. So it's quite an impressive uh, achievement. But moving forward, of course, we'll accelerate the pace. We are here to report on those achievements, and then they will take the conference will take stock 
as to whether what we, did we manage to achieve and then what needs to be happen moving forward towards 2024. We've brought ANC together with other oppositions in Free State. We managed to bring it at 50%, which means Mandombela is the last premier of ANC in Free State. In 2024, we're going to take ANC out of the corridors of power. Let's talk about uh, your presence in Metsimaholo. You had an opportunity to be to, uh, in position there of taking um, control of the municipality, having the position of the mayor, but you let it go. Can we see EFF in future being able to lead this coalition municipalities? Yes, uh, but we are guided. Uh, it's not about occupying positions here. It's about economic freedom in our lifetime, but amongst other things about transference of political power, economic power, and social power to the masses of our people. That's where our concentration is. But we wanted to make sure that we strip ANC out of power. We want to make sure that they do not go back to power. So hence we said, no, it's fine. Uh, it's not about positions, but it's about ensuring that our masses do get service delivery. But we are convinced that DA is not doing what we are expecting them to do in Metsima. We will engage our leadership uh, to check as to whether what are the possibilities of EFF taking over Metsima in any way and demonstrate what can we do as government of the EFF. We will still to engage the leadership of the EFF. We have given them a chance. Their port also all over. Situation is moving from bad to worse under the leadership of the DA. So we will definitely engage our leadership and present a program of action. We are not in a competition of CITUS becoming a mayor. What We have a, 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 a program of action that we think if we can implement it, people of Metsima will get necessary uh, services. For instance, we have given them a chance. We said, look, already we pushed a motion for insource, insource people. They are unable, DA government, to insource the security guards there. We are saying to them, those who are on a so, uh, social grant, why should they continue to pay service, uh, uh, services? Because clearly government is giving them social grants. It's a demonstration they cannot afford to pay. So why don't you write off those debts? These are some of the things that will go back and engage our leadership around them because clearly DA is failing the, our masses there. But more than any other thing, we think maybe in Metsima we must begin to deal with special, apartheid special planning. We must begin to take our people from the, the township and take them right in the middle of the town. If races, they feel that they are not going to stomach this, we are not... We are, we are not uh, uh, responsible for their racist uh, tendencies, but that's what we are going to do. We will begin to take our people right at the center of the towns. That's where they belong, next to malls, next to where they are working, next to our working environment. Thank you very much. Okay, just closing before I let you go, are you coming back for the second term? Uh, it's not about me saying I'm coming back. It's about these branches delegates here will decide the collective leadership that will deal with, will lead this organization. But as we deal with that process, we are saying what are the challenges that faces this organization? And then and say what characters are demanded to deal with the challenges, the current challenges that are facing organization. And then who amongst ourselves who's equal to those challenges? And then we'll take it from there. That's how leadership will be elected. If they feel that amongst us there are people who are equal to those challenges, they will definitely elect those people. I don't know. But uh, if they call your name, are you up for the task? Uh, I do not want to enter into that space. I do not want to influence branches of the EFF otherwise. They will decide on their own whom to elect as their leadership and whoever will be elected that collective will have full support of all of us including myself thank you very much for your time um, that is the current secretary in the free state um, taking us through some of the achievement um, that they have achieved up to so far i understand that the process is about to start in here to open the second day of uh, the provincial people's uh, assembly here in the province but what i can tell you is that several of these positions or rather all of them will be contested we understand that the current chairperson mandisa magasin will also be be uh, standing again to contest her position 
of, of chairmanship uh, I, up against uh, Coach Dipoko, who is, we understand that will be against uh, Mandisa and the current um, uh, deputy chairperson also uh, is expected to also stand up Marcia. and contest uh, for these Marcia. elections. Uh, we understand there's uh, two slates here of, of, of the leadership and we'll see what will happen uh, later today when um, the delegates um, start to get into the nominations and also elect uh, the top five. Policy. All right, Mahala, I think we should leave you to it because we can see the program there behind you is also just about to get underway. But no doubt we will be touching base with you later on in the program. That was Mahala Masiteng just talking to us about the EFF's third provincial people's assembly, which is currently happening in Bloemfontein. Also just giving us a sense of some of the conversations that are being had there on the ground.